Yo, so I wanted to make this video today because I get asked a lot on Instagram and Facebook and through email uh, if I was going to recommend one supplement uh, that someone could throw into their stack and instantly start making loads of gains, uh, what's the one supplement that I recommend they take? And aside from a good whey protein and a good creatine, uh, in fact probably over a creatine, uh, I would say the number one supplement uh, is branched chain amino acids. And I get asked this question so many times, I, I thought I'd just do a video explaining exactly why, uh, rather than typing it out a bunch of times. So, branched chain amino acids are amino acids. Their body can't produce them, so you need to get them through your diet. And you do, you know, that they're in everything, chicken, eggs, you can find branched chain amino acids everywhere. So why supplement with them? Well, the branched chain amino acids are leucine, isoleucine, and valine. Now, leucine is like the important one uh, because it does something called, uh, it activates something called the mTOR pathway in the body. Uh, long story short, mTOR is like the cell signal for protein synthesis. Okay, so you activate the mTOR pathway the cell is signaled to synthesize protein and build muscle. Long story short. So, that being said, supplementation with them with the goal of bodybuilding and building muscle, uh, or if you're cutting, maintaining muscle, is a really good idea. Um, so, what sort of dosage? Uh, I hyperdose branched chain amino acids and there will be a bunch of people that would disagree with me on this, but in my opinion, hyperdosing, and I'm talking 10 plus, 10 plus grams a day of branched chain amino acids uh, throughout the day as well, uh, has been what's helped me uh, make my most significant gains to date. It was, it was when I threw in the branched chain amino acids. Um, so I take them well, like I said, pretty much throughout the day. Uh, when I wake up in the morning, uh, and then maybe two to three scoops throughout the day, and then pre-workout, intra-workout, and post-workout, I will have branched chain amino acids as well. Um, I don't use really expensive branded ones. I use uh, some of those, just the standard like bulk sites that you get. I just get a two-one-one ratio, uh, and I will, I will throw that in throughout the day. Um, so the next question is ratios. So we know that branched chain amino acids engage protein synthesis, great. Now you can get some that are 211 and then that, that's 211 leucine to isoleucine to valine and then 411, 811, 1011. Uh, which one do you go for? Uh, Every person is different, so some people will find that 211 is optimal for them. Uh, some people are way better at processing the branch chains, and so they can find that like 1011 is optimal for them. The only way to actually know for sure is to have thousands of pounds worth of really complicated scientific tests run on your body to be able to tell for sure. Um, which obviously no one's going to do. So what I recommend and what I normally do with clients is uh, second guess it. Over like I, I'd rather get too many branched chain amino acids and piss them out than have not enough and be missing out on the protein synthesis you could be getting from them. So uh, what I tend to do is throughout the day. Uh, and so basically not when I'm working out, I'll just have your standard 211. Then pre-workout, I'll have my 211. Then I'll have uh, some leucine as well that I'll throw in extra, so some extra leucine to make it closer to maybe a 4 to 8 one, one um, probably 4 for pre. Uh, then I do the same with my intra workout shake, literally scoop of branch chains 211, a little bit of leucine added in on top. Uh, and then my post-workout, I really go for it with the leucine, and I mean, I'm talking, it's at least 10 one, one maybe like three extra scoops of leucine in there. And some people will say that I'm taking too much, but when I was experimenting with branch chains, I started out with just two one one like pre-workout. I was like, okay, I'll do two scoops, I'll do three scoops, maybe I'll add the extra leucine in. And the more I did it, the more uh, 
I was developing, I was noticing that I was keeping the fat off, but still able to gain muscle. My recovery was up. I have nothing but good things to say about ranch chains. Um, also, if you get some that are flavored nice, it's a nice little drink to have. So, uh, yeah, I recommend them. So, have somewhere between 211, uh, 411 throughout the day. And then I'd, I'd say particularly post-workout, try and get the extra leucine in, have, have a have a 10 one one um, So yeah, there, there's the ratio. Um, and the way to actually find out, if you want to go with the Tom Neal Fitness branch chain amino acid hyperdosing protocol that I do, um, I do have an equation for it. If you take 0.3 multiplied by your body weight in kilos, divided by 10, you'll get a number in the region of two to three grams probably. And that's how much leucine you should be getting every three to four hours. Uh, I can't remember where the study was that I saw that. I think it's somewhere on JSTOR, but that there was a scientific study that showed that that is the, uh, the ballpark for the optimal amount of leucine to get in for maximum maximal activation of the mTOR pathway, uh, i.e. maximal protein synthesis in the body 24-7. Is that much an hour? Um, now, obviously, I'm not suggesting you, you stick like th three grams of leucine in every three hours because you would just be buying a shit ton of leucine. Uh, you remember that when you eat protein, you're getting it in as well. Um, but the supplementation ensures that you're you're kind of topping up that value if you like. So uh, I'll put that at the bottom of the screen. It's um, yeah, 0 0.3 multiplied by your body weight in kilos uh, divided by 10. The other thing that's so fantastic about branch chains is they actually interact with creatine uh, to inhibit myostatin. Now I know there is a huge alarm bell that goes off with a lot of people who read bodybuilding studies about myostatin inhibition uh, because some people think it's bullshit fair um, and I the jury's out for me I've read studies that are quite convincing for both so myostatin is a secretion by the body that essentially inhibits muscle growth is basically what it does um, for example this cow has a deficiency in myostatin its body's unable to produce it and so it looks like the friggin' beef burger Hulk. And it's because it's not producing myostatin normally. Um, so you can imagine when bodybuilders saw that, they were like, great, let's get some myostatin inhibiting supplements out. Uh, and yeah, some, some people say they work, some people say they don't. I can't say I have that much experience with it. Uh, but there is that as well, that there have uh, studies have shown that branched chain amino acids taken with creatine, so if you're taking creatine pre or post workout, having your branch chains with them there as well could increase your gains too. So you're getting protein synthesis, you're getting increased recovery, uh, you're going to be building more muscle if you're trying to gain size, and if you're cutting, you're providing your muscles with the fuel they need to maintain slash even grow uh, when you're at a caloric deficit and again I know that some people would disagree with me on this one and say you are taking way too many branch chains but to that I say lovely cheers apple and lime coke's really good too coca-cola coca-cola flavored branch chains hey look start with this start out with them post-workout if you like them do pre and post-workout if you like that, maybe do in the morning and then pre and post, pre post intra and then morning and night and then you just end up taking a couple of scoops a day. And in my opinion, you will see all kinds of gains as a result of adding those into your supplement stack. Hope that was helpful. Uh, check me out online uh, on Instagram at Tom Neal Fitness and on facebook.com forward slash Tom Neal Fitness and my website for my book, hunterabsmethod.com.